Your country is under attack and there is mass panic. 10% of the population has already died. What would you do to ensure your safety? I'm Swiss. So naturally I would hide in my apartment's anti-nuclear war bunker. What if the crisis is in the bunkers? Like mole people. Or worm people. Or tuba people. Or the French. Anything okay. But the French? Hell no. I ain't going in there. It was as he quietly crawled near the open bunker doors he noticed the smell and first heard it. The smell of cigarette smoke and red wine accompanied with a muffled hon 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 slowly getting louder. Freezing the blood in his vinch knew he was done for. The French was already here. Had always been. Laughing. I live on an island. So I'd have to just head into the countryside and try hide and wait it out. Would you have enough resources to survive for over a year? I live remotely too and think I'd be pretty safe. But lack of resources being flown in would be the death of me. You could grow your own food the prob would be water. Other remote areas for sure. I live in the arctic in a flying community. If this happened in the winter I'd die as soon as the gas for my heating ran out. Any water I had stocked up would freeze. There's no trees to burn for heat or fuel. And nothing grows here. The only real vile way of survival would be move on to a traditional Inuit lifestyle. Meaning small shelters. Oil lamps for heat. Hunting seal and fishing. But you have to have a pretty extensive know how to pull that off. And I definitely would have no idea what I'd be doing. You'll have the internet and stuff in the arctic. Wow 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 wow. If 2020 was a good indicator a large portion of people are going to hoard toilet paper and hope for the best. Before covered I always thought all those people being dumb in disaster movies were unrealistic. Now I think the movies were underplaying the stupidity. I have a feeling some zombie movies are going to poke fun at it in the future. Main characters bust down the door to a house hoping to find food and medicine. They just find stacks of toilet paper in the basement. And of course no fucking Twinkies. Only those goddamn snowballs, which BTW. I personally love. I hate coconut. Not the taste. The consistency. I'd probably just wait for death. Honestly same. I remember this tweet saying, why do people in survival movies have so much will to live, and I live by it. That's why there are so few corpses seen. Most people waited to die in their homes, or shoot themselves and their wife, leaving by a poor horse to be stolen by a cop, and fed to a horde of walkers. Stay at home and browse reddit. I was not part of the first 10%, so I guess I'm doing something right. Like there will be an internet in that situation. They won't cut off internet if the whole country will a. Eh? The internet is held together with duct tape. Hope. And the sweat and tears of engineers working 24 over 7 to keep it alive. It would be a miracle if it survived that. I was a network engineer for one of the largest ISPs in the US. Can confirm. What kind of attack? Zombies? Foreign invaders? Biological weapons? Nukes? Killer skrulls? Well now I want to know your answer to the last one. What would you do if your country was attacked by killer skrulls and 10% of the population has been Kyle's? Be the only Akon dealer in the world I suppose. I think I understand the Kthalhu cultists better thanks to this comment. <laughs> Under attack by what? Zombies? Terrorists? Nature? Use your imagination for this one. I just imagine Rick from Walking Dead waking up from a coma and finding everything in a wreck. You're just as confused as him. In that case. I might need to grab my crossbow and motorcycle. Dale style. Dale. He uses a hunting rifle Daryl uses the crossbow. I tried to spell Daryl and it got auto corrected to Dale. I said oh well. A. It happens. If shit hit the fan to the point that the US was directly under attack with 10% of the population dead. I suspect I'd already be fucked. A nation capable of that kind of attack against the US probably has nukes and is probably willing to use them. Given that I live in western Washington which is home to JBLM. Bang a submarine base. Bremerton Naval Shipyard. Whidbey Island Naval Air Station. Two prime deep water ports. Boeing. And Microsoft. Ma would probably be vaporized by a nuclear fireball before I could go anywhere. If I was able to get out. I'd probably head out to the Long Beach Peninsula and stay on my grandparents' property. Easy food via fishing. Hunting too but probably less reliable. Low population. No major military targets for me to worry about getting. 
caught in the crossfire of, and fallout maps usually have it moving east so when the Puget Sound region does eat shit I won't have to worry too much about radiation. But how are you going to hunt and fish? Department of Fish and Wildlife is probably closed. So who will issue your licenses? In times of emergency, the animals have been taught to ration themselves to humans according to the food pyramid. Nobody defies the pyramid. Joke aside. This is actually something I've never thought about. In this scenario, if 90% of the population were to be fighting for survival and trade routes halted, while life is gonna get wrecked very quickly, you'd probably have better luck hunting livestock honestly. Much easier to hunt them in a pen. Take car. Go to mums. Kill Phil. Grab Liz. Go to the Winchester. Have a nice cold pint. And wait for all of this to blow over. You've got red on you. Dogs can't look up. That's incorrect. I put my dog in front of Wikipedia, and within 60 seconds he'd found all the articles about bitches on heat and female dog anatomy. Order a flag of whoever's attacking on Amazon. Precisely why I have Nazi, North Korea and Alabama flags in my room. When you have visitors. Oh that? No no no. I'm not a Nazi. I'm just prepared. Apostrophe. As da Florida man that I am. I think about this quite often. Then shtf I would withdraw into the Everglades, nothing can survive out there, except Florida man. I would wait in the Everglades for about 2-3 months let all the chaos die down. If it's a foreign nation invading, I will come out of hiding, and begin taking da Florida's back with a series of hit and run tactics on the enemy camp. Ruffle. I just imagine a mud covered man running, but naked into the enemy camp armed with a stick. With baby gators hanging on his bandolier instead of grenades. They're attached to arrows, so that they can attack, when he hits his mark. I waited my whole life for this. Says that version of me, while hiding in the bunker in my house. What if your neighbors wanted to come? Screw them. They're a bunch of shitty people. At least five of them are alcoholics. And the rest like to blast shitty music all day long. Not to mention the spoiled kid who cries like a freaking agonizing tornado siren. Ruffle. I don't believe you mean that. I got loud neighbors too, yelling and blasting music. They act like everybody wants to listen to that. Plot twist. You guys are neighbors Lamoa. That would be a twist. Trick question I'm Dwight Scroot, and knew this was going to happen. If I'm dead, you guys would have been dead for weeks. Apostrophe. Kevin will be eaten. Pam will be taken slave. Jim will be made a warlord's jester. Meredith will do okay. Bug out. You got a bug out already in place. I would have prepared in advance. Oh wait. I already did. However after my 6 month food supply runs out I would probably die. Apparently I have a different perspective. I would go to sea. There are multiple island nations within reach of our boats. I only cannibalize limbs and the meat of the buttocks for fat content. I avoid a lot of potential sicknesses by staying away from the organs and brain. Seem awfully eager to skip some steps, and go directly to cannibalism. As Mr. Sark once said, if the apocalypse happens, you snap straight to the end. Don't bother with no. I had to eat the cat just snap straight to cannibalism and you'll definitely survive. Once we had a brown out in our apartment. Boom. Ate my neighbor. And she was unhealthy to- She did not take care of herself. Backslash backslash. Mr. Sark I think these are wise words. Slashes. Not tell Randus on the internet what I'm going to do. It's okay. With the assumptions that they started the attack on one of the coasts. Me being over 20 hours from each coast. I think I would wait at home. Because for the attackers to fight in our country with all these gun owners. Their people are dying too. They need to set up base. They need to take land. My hope would be that it would take so long for them to get to my door set. The military will have crushed them by that point. I would make sure my truck that can travel over 700 miles on one tank of gas is full just in case we have to get out. If it's winter time, I'm loading the snow balls in the trailer. Heading to the border, my truck can make it on one tank of gas and ride across Lake of the Woods to Canada. My assumption is they aren't being attacked or meet up with old friends who live on an island. 700 miles on one tank? What do you drive? 2003 M12 LRV. A puma? What in Sam's hell is a puma? Stay where I am. I live in the middle of nowhere. 
the neighbors I do have are all good people. I can finally justify why I have so much pew pew related stuff. Sit on my couch watch the office on repeat with my shotgun in my lap. Have a year's worth of food already. I wouldn't do shit. When there's a major crisis. Natural or man made the first thing to go out is the electricity. So the sitting in to watch TV plan is out the window almost immediately. When there's a major crisis. Natural or man made the first thing to go out is the electricity. So the sitting in to watch TV plan is out the window almost immediate telenet with generator or solar potentially. But I get what you're saying. Nice try China. Last week I was from who? I'm a bot or a paid shill. I guess it depends on the day. Wait. I can get paid to be a shill? I've been acting like an asshole for free. I'd just sit in my room. I have so many weapons and here it's like an armory. I like you. We should be best friends. Sounds like a plan. Depending on who attacked and why. I'd meet up with the nearest military unit and volunteer. I'm prior service and not extremely out of shape so if it's a bad enough situation, I'd be useful. Plus food. Fairly safe lodging. Weapons. And ammo. Flee the city and hide in the rural areas. I live in a rural area and agree that most people won't be as friendly as you may think. Anyone with a farm has firearms and most people in the small towns also have guns. But I also think of the farms around here that would end up like a raider or cannibal type thing. Grab all my important shit and head to the woods. I have a feeling I'd be fine. Not too far away from the hill slash wilderness, as I'm more in a rural area. And have a lot of redneck buddies that I have hooked up with good weed way too many times for them to leave me aside. Going back to work. Nothing can stop us from getting to work. Whatever is in the way will get eliminated before the next workday. This is how dedicated people in my country is to work. Nothing we'd all be nook think about it. The final decision is nuclear attack. And the president has finally launched the nooks toward the east. China. Russia. And North Korea retaliate with their own nukes. Not enough anti-missiles can defend against the onslaught. At this point. Everyone is dead. There's nowhere to escape. All of Western Europe is targeted as well as Canada. There's no place to escape. You. Are. Fucked. So nothing. I'd do nothing. Can't nukes only reach so far? I believe for N. Korea it can reach Cali. That's because they have older slash less sophisticated tech. The big boys can launch a nook wherever they want.